In this day and age, nobody wants to volunteer anymore. And if one person will just say, I'll lead, you'll get a lot of people who will follow. But it always takes that one person. And I'm that kind of a person. And so I started out, we only started out with four, four kids, mostly by word of mouth. And now we're up to 30 plus. Those of us that fly young eagles will always recognize when there's that spark in the kids' eyes. And one of those kids came to us and said, we want to do more. And we started a club where kids are teaching kids about aviation related stuff. And in that, they started to develop the want to do projects. And we built simulators for little kids and then simulators for adults. And then lo and behold came the opportunity with this where a father had started this as a tree house. And it had been built to about just the bottom half of the shell. And when he heard about our group, said, what about the kids doing the rest of this? I did a lot of work with this project. I did some of the riveting, and I did some of like, the avionics, and I worked with CAD 3D printing. Me and my brother polished in every rivet on the plane. And um, it was kind of fun doing that. For the last 18 months, those kids have slaved to finish and bring this to Oshkosh. That was their goal. Here, I really like, like doing some of the missions. You have to bomb that bridge. You can bomb from up there in the turret gun, or you can fly the plane. Fun is the biggest comment, fun. There's one um, I like learning from other kids, and it's awesome, cool. It's wonderful. It's, to me, that's the reward, is seeing that the kids are enjoying what, they, what the other kids have done. It is a very complex, inside this, everything works. And so the hardest part was to get the skills. But because the kids got involved, their families got involved, the parents pitched in, you cannot believe the amount of involvement. But I watch how the families react with each other, young and old, parents, mentors. It's the way it should work. It's a community involvement. What's really been kind of special is to watch these kids blossom. To take kids who could hardly talk in front of anybody other than their friends, to come out here and see their work on display, and to be able to teach other kids about it, is probably the most rewarding part for us. I think it's awesome. Like, I'm, I'm proud of it. And when we had the opportunity to bring this, we kind of knew it was going to be special.